What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Sunseeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading for all signs. What's up, Sunseeds? What's up? I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you guys for all your donations, likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate every last one of you guys. You guys are so generous. Thank you guys so very much. What's up, Sunseeds? What is up? Let's put some cards. Let's see what Spirit wants you guys to know. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Divine. My ancestors of the highest white light. My holy angel. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energies for my collective Sunseeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close that door. Please and thank you. Okay, so... Some type of truth, I feel like some type of truth was told or need to be told or will be told. Holy Spirit, give me some, give me some messages, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Holy Spirit, Ooh. that's a lot. Okay, Ooh, that's a lot. So I'm going to take all of them. So we have the King of Swords, the first card out. Okay. Then we have the Justice card. So again, like I said, some type of truth. The King of Swords um, um, could be one to come towards you and speak some type of truth. Okay. Justice, some type of... Um, the skills are going to be balanced here. Okay. The skills are going to be um, balanced because I felt like it was an in, imbalance in the past. We had the Three of Swords. So some type of um, heartbreak. Um, I don't see third party yet, but with the Three of Swords... Somebody could be feeling heartbroken at this time and want to come in and bring you justice. Sunseeds with the chariot. Somebody wants to come towards you. Okay. Emperor. Whoever this emperor is. Okay. Could be your divine masculine or it could be a father figure. We have the higher friend. Okay. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But someone wants to speak some type of truth to you. Um, we have the high priestess. Okay. Let's pull from the um, Kippa deck. Ooh. And a nine of cups came in reverse. Okay. Somebody could have seen you as they wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, somebody could have found out some type of truth and it broke their heart and they want to come towards you to speak their truth. Um, you could have found out... Um, about a marriage, or you guys could have had differences in beliefs, okay? Um, you and this person could have been brought up different, different values, different beliefs, and somebody want to speak their inner truth to you, okay? This person could be traditional, you could be spiritual, okay? But somebody feels like, um, with the Three of Swords and the High um, high Priestess, somebody feels like they broke your heart and they didn't listen to their intuition, okay? Um, so um, It was some type of secrets that was hidden, okay? The Nine of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person, um, the way this person feels about you, Sunseeds, they hit it. Okay. They hit it from whoever was around them. Maybe because of you guys' beliefs, um, having two different beliefs. Um, this person, like I said, could be more traditional. Okay. And this person, um, definitely could have did something injustice to you in the past and broke your heart. Okay. But this person, they love you. They have, you know, this person, um, I'm here in love with you. They have eyes for you, but somebody hit it. They hit it because um, you guys have two different beliefs. With this nine of cups in reverse, um, this person is unhappy, okay? You guys could have walked away from this person, okay? With the three of swords and the chariot, you guys definitely moved away. Um, you guys could have also bossed up, okay? You changed and went on a new journey. Yeah, great fortune. Um, you guys could um, definitely... Um, because like I said, it was an injustice in the past. You guys, the two and six breaking down to an eight, eight is karma. So with the great fortune coming out, you guys are getting good karma, which is going to lead to a lot of fortune for you guys. I can't make it up. Unexpected income. So um, great fortune and unexpected income. Spirit is telling me whoever this king of swords is, this king of swords um, feel like they broke your heart. Okay. They feel like they want to come and bring you some type of truth. Okay. Um, someone made a, um, a head over heart decision. Um, because of your beliefs being different from these, okay? So this person did something in the past to you that was imbalanced and they broke your heart, 
okay? And you, 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 you sailed away with the chariot. You decided to go and, and, and move forward and progress in life and, and, you know, get your victory and success. With the Emperor card, you bossed the hell up. Thank you, Spirit. You bossed up. And with the Nine of Cups in reverse, now this person who who um was in this energy making head over heart decision with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this person is feeling um unfulfilled now, okay, without you because they see that you moved away. With this high friend, this person is definitely very traditional with the high priestess and the three of swords. You are this high priestess, okay? This person hit um how they feel about you towards others. Um, they kept you a secret, I'm hearing. Okay, this person is definitely deeply in love with you. The great fortune and unexpected income. This person is watching you get success and victory. Um, go after the um, things that you want. Thank you, spirit. Oh, that's a lot. Community. So this person could have um, could have a family that's very traditional. Um, this person could have been looking at um, could have been worried about how their family and people was going to view them. This wealthy man. Okay, toil and labor. Okay. Whoever this wealthy man is, um, there's no gender in tarot. I feel like some seeds, you are this wealthy man with the toy and labor. Um, this person is watching you work hard, be successful, um, get victory, be very determined, going after the things that you want. Okay, this person knows that they broke your heart and they want to come back in with this king of swords. This person wants to speak their truth, okay? Um, I'm hearing power hungry, okay? The um, King of Swords, um, this is somebody who has the facts and the truth. And they want to come in and speak that to you. They want to give you some type of balance. They know they broke your heart. Um, you could be very mysterious. Um, and your religion is, is different from this person, how they was brought up. And this person was worried about what the community, how they will be judged by others. But you walked away, Spirit is saying. And now this person... Watch they wish fulfillment walked away. And with the nine of cups in reverse, somebody feels like, you know, they blessing. Somebody who made them happy is no longer or no longer there. So they want to come back with this king of swords and speak their truth. Okay, with the higher friend, this is somebody that's very traditional. With the higher priestess, you're you're not um you're more of a um you know, you're a high priestess, you know, you listen to your intuition. Um you're more of a, um, a, you know, a free spirit person. You, you know, you're very wise. You know, you know a lot of secrets. You hold the secrets. You are someone who knows the unknown, okay? And somebody is in love with you, but they are afraid how this community going to look at them, how this community going to judge them and study going within and standing in a truth with the King of Swords. But they did it, okay? So now somebody is feeling, you know, unhappy. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody um feeling unhold. Okay, because they watch you sail away. Whoever this main male is. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, distant horizons. A lot of you guys moved away. You walked away from this person. Okay? You also could have found out about some secrets about this person. Okay? Whatever secrets that you found out about this person, it made you walk away. You felt it here, go on your pathway. Um... Not made you judge this person, but it made you look at this person different because this person couldn't stand in their truth, okay? You looked at this person like they was a stand-up person. You thought this person was very truthful, okay? But this person could have been very stubborn, okay? This person was very stubborn. They hid their truth from others, but when it came down to you, when you and this person was together... This person was very passionate and love and, and they admired, you know, what you stand for and what you believe in. But when they got around others, they had to put on this facade, like, you know, you weren't the one for them because of, you know, um, because of whatever your spirituality is. Being different from their traditional ways, how they was brought up. But this King of Swords wants to come in and bring you justice. They want to speak their truth, okay? With the Three of Swords, this person know they broke your heart, okay? The Chariot, this person knows that you walked away. Okay, and a lot of you guys, you bossed the hell up. You bossed up. You know there's no gender in tarot, but this emperor, spirit is telling me this emperor is you, sun seeds. This king of swords, if this is the one who made a head over heart decision. Okay? They didn't go with their heart. They didn't go with it. Okay? Now someone is feeling broken hearted because you sealed the way. You left. You bossed up. Okay? Somebody see, you know, you got a solid foundation. You're very stable. Um, you can have a leadership role in your life. 
but someone sees you as um self mastery you know you stand you you stand on it you stand in your truth you a boss you a leader yeah under the bottom we have cuffing season holy spirit give me some more messages for my beautiful collective sun seeds please and thank you This high, this high friend and this and this high priestess, somebody know they broke this high priestess heart. Blackmail. Give me some more cards. Manifest. Somebody could have been trying to, um, yeah, evil eye. So someone was wishing ill intent on you. I feel like um, it was someone around this King of Swords that knew about this connection. Whether this. Whether this King of Swords thought they was hiding it or not, somebody knew about this connection. And they was trying to blackmail you, Sunseeds. They was trying to blackmail you to keep you away, okay, from you and this person coming together, manifesting each other. With this evil eye, it was somebody that was wishing evil upon this connection so you guys wouldn't work together. They knew if you guys came together, it would be a power couple. You are you have great fortune and unexpected income. Emperor, you're a boss, okay? Bonded, okay? Whoever your person is, um, someone's feeling um, trapped in a situation that they're unhappy with, okay? This person could have known that this family or whoever whoever was, you know, close to this person in the energy knew how they felt about you, okay? Knew that this person was sending the evil eye. Um, this person also could have let this person do this, okay? Let this person, yes, thank you, Spirit. Let this person do this, okay? Because this person was trying to hit. You know how they really felt about you. But now they somewhere, you know, heartbroken. Because, you know, they broke your heart. But now they heartbroken, Spirit is saying. Okay? Somebody's feeling bonded to the coming situation. And they want to come towards you to at least speak their truth to clear it up. Yeah, kicked out. Okay? Yeah. And you're looking at things from a higher perspective. Now this person, thank you, Spirit. This person is looking at things from a higher perspective. Okay, this person could have kicked you to the side, made you feel unworthy. But with the growth card, somebody see how, how much you've grown. You've grown into your, you know, you've grown into an emperor. You, you're on your bullshit. Like, you're on your bullshit. And they're looking at this toxic family like, you know, this, whoever this woman or masculine, whoever this woman or a uh, male is, they looking at their family like they never did anything to you. Okay. Just because this person have, just because we have two different beliefs doesn't mean that this person is a bad person, okay? Somebody is, is over the, the, over the outdated traditional beliefs anyway, but this person didn't have enough, um, enough balls to tell their family that. They didn't have, a, they didn't have that, okay? Somebody didn't want to be judged, but see you with the three of swords and the high priestess, you didn't care about being ju a judge. You stand in your truth and you stand on that truth. Okay. And the moment that this person decided that you weren't good enough with the chariot, you decided to go, you, you decided to go. You started traveling. You started moving forward with your life. You wasn't going to let this person keep you stuck and stagnated. Knowing that you was a good person. Knowing that you meant nothing but good to this person. So what you did, you put that 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 time and that energy, you transmuted and, and, and bossed the hell up with the emperor. You bossed the hell up and you grew from the situation. But whoever this person is, they watched this family or whoever this whoever this is person that's in their energy tried to black, blackmail you so you guys wouldn't manifest this new beginning. They were sending you the evil out, wishing this whole connection ill intent. And this person knew that. And this person is somewhere feeling bad somewhere because they they know what really happened. That's why with the King of Swords, when I first started to read it, my nose kept itching. That's why I said somebody want to come in and speak some type of truth, okay? Or some type of truth was revealed because this King of Swords feel like they owe you that. They know exactly what went, went down. They know exactly who did what, okay? And this person feeling bad by that. Because they know that karma is on that ass. It was definitely an injustice in the past. And it wasn't right and it wasn't fair to you. Okay? Being you being spiritual, you probably didn't even judge this person for having um being traditional. But this person judged you for being spiritual and being free spirit. But whoever your person is, this person is done. This person is tired. They are tired of these old outdated beliefs. Okay? Somebody is ready to stand in their truth. Okay? 
Somebody's looking at things from a higher perspective, okay? And they realizing this toxic family was the one wishing you this evil eye. But I'm hearing whoever was wishing this, whoever these people that was wishing this evil eye, now they got a black eye. <clears throat> fork, in the word, fork in the roll. Okay? Fork in the roll. Making it hard for this person to make a decision to come towards you. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. This person, if you felt like your person was stuck, it was because it was hard for them to make it. It was like basically they felt like by choosing you, going after their heart, how they felt. They felt like they would be going against this toxic family. So this person was in the middle. So this person decided to choose their family. Okay? Knowing that they was way past all of these outdated beliefs. You guys shared the same beliefs. But your person was too embarrassed to stand up for that. Okay? So this person decided to hurt you. Okay? Make you question yourself. Make you question yourself worth. But I'm seeing you didn't with the cherry. You got the hell up on and you bossed up and you transmuted that energy. Period, spirit saying. And this person is looking at this toxic family with the toxic family and, and the high friend. It's like, you know, these outdated beliefs, they just don't serve me no more. I'm watching a person that I have the same beliefs of, but I, I'm, I'm keeping it in secret. Watching them boss up with the emperor, get great fortune and unexpected income. And I'm stuck with you guys while you out here... Blackmail, one to blackmail this woman or this mill, and all they doing is bossing up. So your person is like, if this person is so bad and they so toxic for me, how come they bossing up in their life? How come is they? How come they so successful? Okay, how come they so wealthy? Okay, how come things always working out in their favor? I have, I know this person. This person has a, a great heart. This is what your person is saying. Well, wants to say. With the king of swords. Somebody want to speak some type of truth. Okay? Yeah, stuck in the past. Stuck in the past. They wanted your person to be stuck in the past. Well, confusion. They wanted your person to be confused. They probably could have been telling your person or that you was all this type of dark, dark, and all of this other stuff to get this person from not coming towards you. But the whole time, they was wishing this person, they was wishing this connection. I'm hearing your person. So they could have been wishing your person and this connection to evil eye. But that same evil eye that was wishing on you, these people getting a black eye now. Because your person is coming out of this confusion. Okay? Yeah. I can't make it up. They watch you upgrade, get cash flow, and level up. And skeletons, secrets are about to be revealed. Why? Because the whole time they was doing spell work. But I can't make it up. They was doing spell work to keep you guys from coming together. Your person knew these people was blackmailing them. Blackmailing you. Doing spell work. Your person is somewhere wants to speak up and speak their truth. Okay? Somebody feels bad. Somebody feels like shit for, for letting these people do this to your... You was innocent. You was innocent. Y'all just had two different beliefs. But your person had the same beliefs as you. But with the family room, family room is all about secrets. Your person thought it was okay to stay in this toxic family with secrets and hide in their true identity. But now somebody wants to step out and come in. They want to stand in their truth with the king of swords. And that's why they want to reach out to you to speak up. Okay? They said if this person is such a bad person, how they got great fortune, unexpected income, upgrade, cash flow, and level up. If they such a bad person, how come they how come they bossed up? This is what your person's saying, Sunseed. How come they bossed up with the emperor? How come they're a boss? Okay? Yeah, skeletons, secrets are about to be revealed. Okay? That the family was doing spell work to keep you guys apart. Yeah. Spirit said cautious. Cautious. Okay? Thanksgiving. Something can be very significant about Thanksgiving. Or spirit is saying cautious, but tech, but tech your heart. Because you have a good heart. Okay? But take your heart. Clinch your space. Okay? You guys clinch your space from and, and, and with the with the three of swords in a, in, a, in a chariot, you got the hell on. You got the hell on and you transmuted that energy and you bossed up. Yeah, somebody else got fired. Everything around this person, they could be losing. Money could be coming in slow. People losing their jobs. Okay, a lot of chocos and conflict going on with this family because it with the justice card, the second card, it was an injustice. With the justice and an eleven on this card, it got eleven injustice. This is your divine counterpart. Okay, with the eleven injustice, this is your divine counterpart. Okay, three of swords. Somebody, somebody really feels bad for breaking your heart, and now they feel a heartbroken because they're watching you be successful. Okay, yeah. 
They feel them, they the, the grass was fake. They feel, they looking at these people like they fake. Walking around with a missing piece, missing out their heart. Okay? Because they felt like they wasn't, they wasn't in their truth. They weren't, they somebody what somebody blackmail you. Give you the evil eye. Okay? Yes. Queen of Cups could have been somebody's mother. Queen of Cups came back out. Could be a mother figure. Okay? This person, with that family woman, this Queen of Cups, this could also be somebody's mother or baby mother. Somebody felt like choosing you and going towards their divine counterpart, which is the 11 on this card. They felt like they would be betraying their family. I don't, when... I don't understand how, how how is betraying your family when you're going after the person that you love. You could still be a good son. You could still be a good daughter. You could still be a good father. You could still be a good mother. How is it? How is it? Um, how can I explain it? How is it wrong for choosing it and, and going after what you believe and what you love in your heart? Just to please a family that has all outdated beliefs. Okay. A family, but see, this high priestess, this high priestess ain't, ain't out here trying to, you know, with the three of swords and the high priestess, that mean that that high priestess got her heart broken. She ain't break nobody heart, but the one who was standing in this traditional, traditional mindset, going after the traditional way, the old outdated beliefs, look at all this stuff they did to this high priestess. Okay? Somebody know it was an injustice. It wasn't right. And they're looking at things from a higher perspective. Because we've seen that. Higher perspective. Okay? they saying if this person was so bad and they so this, how come they growing? Okay? How come they growing? How come things changing out their life and it's changing for the better? But we stuck in these old outdated beliefs and ain't nothing happening to us but chocos and conflicts and we being exposed and the truth being revealed to me. Somebody don't believe in something that they, they used to believe in no more. Somebody looking at you standing in your truth and they admire it. I'm hearing inspired. And it's making them look at everything that they was brought up to believe was a lie. Okay? Yeah. Four cups. Somebody was refusing to take this offer. Somebody was, the divine was giving this person you. And somebody was refusing to take this offer. Okay? Somebody look looking at you with the with the three of swords and a the chariot. They looking at you like you that heartbreak, everything that they did to you, you transmuted that energy and, and bossed the hell up. And somebody looking at you like, you know, I, I feel like I missed the opportunity. I missed the opportunity because of our indifferences. But now I no longer believe in that. With the king of swords, the first card coming um, now, out, now I want to speak my truth. Page of wands. Okay? Page of Wands. This is all about somebody want to message you. Somebody sees you as a free spirit person. Somebody full of passion and spunk. Somebody very creative. They want to reach out and message you with the Seven of Swords and let you know about this betrayal, about the lies, about the scheming, about the sneaky backstabbing stuff that was going on to you with that blackmail. Okay? They know. They watch this person do this to you with the hermit. With the hermit. Could have been a Virgo. But, or, or you could be a Virgo. But somebody watched something go on behind the scenes and they knew exactly what they was doing to you. And deep down inside, that person know you didn't deserve it. Okay? They watched somebody try to take you out and blackmail you. Okay? It wasn't fair to you. It wasn't fair. Now with the Ace of Wands, somebody want a whole new passion to begin with you. With the Three of Cups, now they want to come in and reconcile with you, collab with you, work with you. Now somebody want a reunion with you because they see you as a happiness. Okay? Judgment. Okay? Somebody is getting karma. Somebody is getting karma. And it could be these people that were trying to keep you guys apart. Because with the 11 on this Justice card, this is your divine counterpart. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. This person is watching you be single, abundant. Somebody knows that you're single, okay? you free. I'm hearing you free, okay? Somebody very wealthy, very self-sufficient, independent, a go-getter, okay? Two of swords, and it hurt this person because they was indecisive. They was, they was confused. 
Eight of Pentacles, they watching you work your ass off. Whatever you do for work, you 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 um you very skilled. This 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 not a pentacles give me um self mastery. Okay, what you do for work, you very skilled at it. Okay, you very hard work it. Somebody like how could if this person all of this, how come what they did, only thing they did was put their head and focus into their work. But we over here jumping on each other, losing money, losing everything, karma hitting us from, from back to right because we was being sneaky, doing all this to this person. And this person didn't, didn't do nothing to me. Nothing at all. We just had two different beliefs. And these guys wanted to blackmail you guys, so you guys wouldn't come together. Nine of swords. But now somebody is suffering. Okay? And now they want to speak up and speak their truth because they suffering. They worrying. A lot of them ain't even getting no sleep. Somebody's at a breaking point because they're watching you with the six of wands get a victory and success. Four of wands, okay? This is your twin flame. It's four of wands, this is your twin flame. Somebody wants a commitment with you. Somebody, somebody wants a happy home with you. Six of cups, I can't make it up. Somebody from your past, they want to reconcile with you. Somebody know that you, you're very kind, you're very loving, you're very caring. And just because you guys have different beliefs don't make you a bad person. It makes you a person that know your truth, know thyself. Okay? You are very spirit. You are very spiritual. And you could be the same one that's very spiritual, but you believe in God. And they and, and they say, how can you believe in God when um you are high priestess? How can you believe in God um, when you're free spirit? How can you believe in God when um, you're, you're not traditional? But but what it looks like here to me, you are more you more uh, you more authentic standing in your truth than people that are stuck in old traditional mindsets that they've been stuck in for years and years and years. And you more loyal to your beliefs and your God than they are. But these are the same ones that cried, God this, God this, go to church every Sunday. Da 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 da. But try to take you down, and you're more loyal to God than them. Cause when you have a heart of God. When you really have a heart that loves God and serve God, and you know who God is, you don't, yo, you, your attention is not out here to hurt, harm, cruel, rob, steal, do none of that. Because that's not of God. Okay? It's not. Eight of Cups. Somebody ready to walk away. Somebody ready to let, let this shit go. We're drawing their whole self. Okay? They are. With the five of cups. Somebody's in grief. Somebody's in sorrow. It, they really heartbroken. Because they let this high priestess get the hell away. And, and watching them be a boss. Be very successful. The devil card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But it was somebody that was codependent on this person's energy. And they didn't want on this person's energy and finance. And they didn't want this person to come towards you. But I'm hearing that same evil eye they sent to you. Now they got a black eye. Okay? Because everything they were sending to you went right back to center. Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. You bossed up. You transmuted that energy. When you knew you didn't deserve it, you knew this person had the same belief as you. But you didn't let it hold you down and keep you down. You still progress and you still stand in your truth. Even if it was only you. And this person is admired and inspired by that. And with that king of swords, somebody wants to come towards you and speak the truth because they see you as the truth. And ten of wands, they are burdened. Okay? They are burdened. And they're ready to walk away and close a cycle. Out, I'm hearing. Out. Spirit, I'm going to get you guys some angel messages before we close this out, Sunseeds. Yeah, you are a powerful light worker. Shield yourself. Clear yourself. Goddess. Cancel, clear, delete. Ascended masters. Parents. Come through, Spirit. Spirit said you are a powerful light worker. Shield yourself. Okay? Because you are goddess. And you cleared yourself from any negativity energy. Okay? Yeah, it broke your heart. Yeah, you felt some type of way. But you transmuted that energy into something positive and you bossed your life up. Okay? You started putting that, you started nurturing yourself, caring on yourself. Okay? Focusing on your money and your pinnacles and whatever you love. Whatever aspirations that you have. Okay? You're very creative. You put you put your focus on in, in work. You put your head down in, in your in your work. And you mastered it, okay? And you cancel, clear, and delete what no longer serve you. Because you knew this person, they wasn't living in their truth. 
But as a goddess, you were. Okay? As a goddess, you were. We are all gods and goddesses. But we're nobody else's God. And when you understand that, and you can reciprocate that and get that in your brain, then life will be a better place. Okay? We all have the power to produce whatever we want on this 3D. Again, we are all gods and goddesses. And you stood in that. You stood in that, Sun Seeds. You are a goddess. But you know that you're nobody else is God. Okay? You're not. But these people over here with these old outdated beliefs, they thought they were. So your ascending master stepped right on in. Like, ah, uh ah. -uh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay? Parents. Could have been somebody parent. They didn't want to see y'all together. With this base shocker. Maybe you could you with this high priest, you highly intuitive. Very psychic. Okay? But somebody listening to their intuitive feelings now. Yeah. Now somebody listen, they listening to their intuitive feelings. Because they're like, this person, Earth Angel. They said Earth Angel. Listen, listen to your intuitive feelings, Earth Angel. This person like, how the heck? How the heck I sit here? And my low, and, and when I was in my low vibrational self, and let you blackmail a goddamn earth angel when we shared the same heart and the same soul. Why? Because I said, this is your twin flame. What did I say? With that love and that justice, son, see, this is your twin flame. Somebody realized not only did y'all try to hurt this person, and I thought it was going to do something to this divine feminine, I hurt myself because I watched y'all do it. Why this divine family, divine master, take a energy, however, how you, um, how it resonates to you. There's no gender and tarot. Why watch this goddess manifest the life that they want? Great fortune, unexpected income. You have upgrades. You have cash flow and level up. Come on. Somebody like, I hurt myself. I believe everything that this earth angel believe in. But because we have, because, because this, because this earth angel have, um, we know we're we're not the traditional type. I let y'all go and knock her, knock that person down, blackmail them, send them the evil eye. I watch y'all do that, and all it did is turn around and ricochet and hurt me because we share the same soul. You can never ever detach us from the soul. It won't happen. Now throw shocker. Now somebody wanna now somebody wanna come into you with that with that king of swords. Now they wanna speak their truth. Okay. Air shocker. Now somebody listening to, they getting signs of synchronicities. They, hear, they could be walking down the block hearing songs, hearing music, hearing words, seeing billboards. Everything that remind them of you. Because spirit is not going to let them forget you because you was an earth angel. And you ain't deserve that. You ain't deserve that. You are profoundly clairvoyant. You and this person profoundly clairvoyant. Books. You and this person could be somebody who a, who a writer, who likes to write books. Listening to your intuitive feelings. You guys supposed to be doing workshops and seminars together. Now somebody heart shocker is getting wide awoke. Bay shocker. Now they're listening to their intuition. It wasn't right. You ain't deserved that. Not at all. I love you, Sun Seeds. I love you guys so very much. So very much. You know, um, whoever this message is for, you know, um, I don't like when they be coming for my Sun Seeds. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. <laughs> y'all know how I feel about y'all. But sun seeds, y'all bossed up, okay? Somebody, now somebody waking up, okay? Somebody waking up now, okay? And they miss you, okay? Because it's a big old chunk missing out their heart without you, all right? I love you, sun seeds. Keep doing your thing. Keep leveling up. Stay focused. Stay in your truth. Even if it's just you, um, you will meet your, your beautiful soul tribe. People like, like minded, like you spirit will put in your life. One thing I could say, two things for certain, don't ever change what you believe and what you know to be your truth for anyone else. Always stand in that because people could talk, gossip and, and, and send so much evil out of their way. But, um, the truth will always come to the light and the same one that was sending you the evil eye. Now they got a black eye, period. I love you, Sun Seeds. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box later.